let's understand the intuition of the log linear model in this video and we'll do it based on an example. So let's see what is the effect of education on income when they are measured differently. Mainly we have the logarithm of income, but we have the regressor, which is the years of education. So what we're trying to say is that the independent variable, the regressor is measured in units, but the LN, the logarithm is showing us a percentage change. So this is measured in a percent unit. Okay, if that's the case, how can we understand what is the slope coefficient of education? Now recall one thing, the slope coefficient is just a derivative. This is showing, this is showing the effect of education on income, right? Meaning that is the derivative of the logarithm of income with respect to education. Well, with that logic, let's differentiate both sides and see what we get. So we differentiate the left side with respect to education and we differentiate this side with respect to education. So what happens? Uh, in this case, the income changes, right? When education increases by one year, income is gonna increase. Well, by how much? By several percentage points because it's a logarithmic change. So let's show it with, with the delta sign. We will have a change in income divided by income. Now you can do it on a calculator as an example. Let's say you subtract, let's say you subtract 10 minus seven over seven. So out of $7,000, we increase our income to $10,000. What is 10 minus seven over seven? That's gonna be 0, 0.0 something, I guess. And that's a percentage change. So what we're showing right now is that we are having a percentage change in income. That's very important to make this distinction. And over here, when we are differentiating, the constant derivative is just a constant, so that's zero. But over here, 0 0.099 times education derivative, remember the result of a derivative is the constant. So that's gonna be 0 0.099 times whatever we change in education. There is a change in education by one unit because that's how we show derivatives. We want to know the effects on the dependent variable when the independent variable increases by one unit. Now, because this is, this is measured in percentage points, right? We would like to have it in percentage points. Um, so let's say over here we have a value something like 0 0.01. Well, 0 0.01 is in digits. And if we like it in percent, we have to multiply this with 100. So let's do so. And if we multiply the left side by 100 and we have an equation, we will multiply the right side by 100 as well. So let's multiply by 100 both sides. We would have over here now the percentage change in income. So let's write percentage change in income, which was the initial goal. We wanted to know what is the percentage change in income based on a unit change, because this is just a change in education. Education here, for instance, goes from 14 years to 15 years. This goes 15 minus 14. The delta is equal to one. One unit change in education. That's what this is showing us. We group 0 0.099 times 100, and that gives us, let's say one, two, so that's 9.9. .9. 9.9 .9 times the change in education. So what we're showing right here is that when education increases by one unit, the effect in percent on income is 9.9%. Let's interpret that. So when education increases by one unit and that unit is a year, education increases by one year, then income increases by 9.9%. That's how we derive it. So income increases by 9.9%. Hope this makes sense, hope the, ma the math makes sense because that's probably the best way to understand how we interpret this slope coefficients. In the next video, we'll do the same method based on linear log model.